Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing smoke alarms, hardwired smoke alarms. I know to most of you electricians this is just bog standard stuff, but I thought I'd just do a little video on it for other people who are learning or coming up or, you know, homeowners who want to know the process. Because basically in Wales now, the legislation has changed that all rental properties must have mains interlinked smoke alarms um may have been i think it may have been already in england for a while but it's only just come in wales because we're a bit behind so we are doing one today and on this one i've actually let leighton do it on his own i'm not helping him at all he is going to be doing the smoke alarms all himself so as a standard which is let's be honest that's what most landlords are going to do is the minimum standard you need to have one on the landing and one in the hallway so basically one on each floor and they've got to be within three meters of a habitable room. So if I just show you, like I said, Leighton's already made a start. We will be taking the feed off this light here, the landing light. We've got a permanent line of neutral in there. He's drilled a hole there. That is where the smoke alarm is going to be going. So he's going to be taking a 1.5 twin earth cable from there to there. So that would be one done. That's easy. That's the easy part. Um, so we've got main battery backup smoke alarm there. The hardest part is the interlinking, which, you know, this is where, you know, it's going to benefit landladies, landlords, homeowners, etc. to show what sort of work goes into it. So basically, to do that, we need to get a cable then from this point to downstairs, because downstairs, it's a bit of an odd house, this one. It's not really got a, a hallway as such. So, there's going to be one there. You know, we've got this little space, so we're going to have one there. So we've got to get a cable. But we've got to get a three core and earth cable now. Well, three core and tw uh, CBC. Because we're going to have a permanent line, a neutral, and then we're going to have an interconnection cable between the two, which is a signal cable. So if this one goes into alarm, it sends a, a signal down this cable, down to the up upstairs, and vice versa, so they can talk to each other. There are ways of doing this wirelessly. Um, I say wirelessly, you've still got to get a cable to the base. So, for instance, if we were doing a radio link base, we'd still need a cable from there to there for a permanent feed, but it, the actual interconnection is wireless. So we'd still need to get a feed from there to there. We're not doing that purely because of costings. Um, they're about 50 to 60 pounds just for the base. Then you've got to buy the smoke alarm on top. Um, I had a price, I think, for two is £165 for the two levels. Then you've still got cable and labour. Whereas doing it this way, um, the smoke alarms are about 30 quid a piece. So you're saving 105 quid on bases. Um, there's a little bit more cable. Not a lot, because cable is, is going up in price, but it's not, you know, out of this world expensive. You know, we've probably used 15 metres, so it's not even a pound a metre. You're talking, I don't know, 10 quid's worth. And then an extra hour's labour. Maybe two. So it's going to work out cheaper this way. It's just a bit more upheaval. So, what Leighton has done, he's drilled a hole down there. I can walk up and down the stairs like a bloody yo-yo. Um, he's drilled a hole there. He drilled one there and he's hit... For some reason, this, this ceiling has got concrete pillars running through. I'll show you when we go upstairs. And he hit the concrete. So, he's moved it over. Smoke alarm will cover that hole anyway. And he's taken the three core and earth up because he's a ledge. <coughs> he's managed to fish it then from that point across, pull the floorboards up. I don't know if you can see this, but these are all like concrete pads. It's one almost as if there was a fireplace there, but there wasn't. And then here as well, they're like reinforcing the joists and things. Don't know what they're for, I've never seen it before. But anyway, he's managed to fish it across, come down this run. He has gone behind the skirt in without damaging the skirt in as well, which I'm quite impressed with for his first attempt on his own. Trunk in tight to this door frame and into the loft. <coughs> so he's done that. This is going to be the interlink cable. It's going to go to this point. He's kind of working his way backwards, which should make sense because we're going to be changing his pendant while we're here anyway. So the way he's done it, we can second fix downstairs, get all this put back, hoovered up, cleaned, yada, yada, yada. <coughs> and then 
trunking on, whatnot, and then we can fix that smoke. Last connection there because we will be changing the pendant. Um, we're also changing this while we're here because that is knackered. Look at that. Who the hell does that? Comes behind the skirt and it goes in the back of the socket. You could never screw that tight, flush to the wallet, from day one. But anyway, so we're going to be changing that. So that's the situation so far. That's how far Leighton's got. It's up in the loft. We will be back to check on him in a sec. Like I said, smoke alarms are quite an easy job. Um, it's only running two cables, one feed. It could come straight from the consumer unit if you wanted. And then an interlink cable. So I thought I'd let Leighton get, do this himself, get a bit of practice and whatnot. And I'll just laze around, drinking coffee. Oh, look, he's pulling it. What's it like in that loft, mate? Eh? Well, the installation's all over the place. Is it? Yep. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. I'll leave you to it. I'll show you now once we've got a bit further and show you about the connections and all the other fun stuffs. But, yeah, that's basically it. It's not, you know, this is a bog standard installation. Um, if you're doing a new build of things and they spec more, like I'm doing um, the big job, I'll be doing that the farm house thing they were scattered everywhere there's about 11 on that premises because you've got co2s heats um it's a big old property and they all need to be interlinked so yeah different specs but for a rental in wales minimum spec one on each floor within three meters of habitable room that's what landlords are going for of course so that is as far as we got oh santa Santa Claus, baby, oh Santa, baby. Di, 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 di. Right, so Leighton's getting on with it. I've come back to check upon him. He has just fitted the new pendant. We we're using a Verso pendant because we use Verso for everything. So, hard to see on here, but basically, we've got permanent live neutral in, permanent live neutral out, and then the switch line and permanent line going down to the landing switch. He has then taken another permanent line of neutral over to here. That is done, so he's done that part. Um, he's got the cable downstairs, which you did see in the previous video. He's cut it down now. He's cut it all nice and neat now. And he's also relayed the floor. What a legend. We're gonna have to hoover up, I think, but yeah. He's got the trunking up with the cable inside. We're going to get a lid on there in a minute and we're going to get some fire clips in there as well just to hold it back because it's a rental and this would be an access point if there was a fire so if you're going to run out of here to be honest these fire eggs are a bit shit if you ask me um yeah if there was a fire and the trunk had melted that cable's not going anywhere is it let's be honest well it's not really going to cause much of a trip hazard i suppose you could catch your arm in it or something but whatever do, do as we're told so yeah we'll get some fire clips in there and then that's good to go lid on and then you just got to connect these up so i'll show you the connections of these as well and how they are done so ladies and gentlemen he's got them up they're done pendants up there and smoke alarms up i don't know if you can see that but it is glitter green to signify that it is live so that is on and then this one down here i've left the cover off this one just to show you the connections so you've got your line in neutral they're pretty straightforward your brown and your blue you have the middle cable this is why you need a three corners because you have the ic which is the interconnect connects point a to point b upstairs you use your black for that so you sleeve the gray blue to signify that's a neutral earth sleeving on the earth the interconnection cable stays black a lot of people put them as brown. I used to do it myself. I've been guilty of that. But it turns out that the interconnection isn't 230 volt. So brown is the colour for 230 volt line. This isn't. This is like 24 volt. It's only a signal cable. So that doesn't need to be sleeved. A lot of people do. We've left it black anyway. If you want to, prove me wrong in the comments. Show me some evidence. But that's what I've been told and apparently i've been doing it wrong all these years these are the aco fittings we always use aco for our smoke alarms don't think there's much better out there if i'm honest such a variety of range and then that just slots on here like so 
Test it. And there we go. Ready to go. Test it. You just press this button and hold. And then you can hear upstairs going as well. So if I let this go, you can still hear upstairs going. So that proves that the interconnections work again. They're doing exactly as they should be. Good job, Leighton. Good job. So yeah, that's smoke alarms. That's the installation of those. So like I said, this video is purely just to help people out with learning. I know it's a bit boring for qualified electricians and the like, but not everyone knows how to do them or how many as you're putting, etc. Rentals in Wales anyway, at least. Minimum standard, one on each floor within three meters of a habitable room. That one is within three meters of all the three bedrooms. And this one is three meters of a lounge. You could argue that you should have a heat in the kitchen, but it's not needed per regs. And obviously landlords are not gonna fork out on stuff that's not needed because that's just the nature of the beast. They're running a business at the end of the day. So we want to keep the cost down. But yeah, that's that. I just sort of show you the process and how they're done, how you connect them up and how they're wired. So any landlords who are watching this, this is the process that needs to be done. You then get a certificate then. Um, don't know the number, I will put it in the description, but you should have a certificate to say what system you have and how it's been installed, whether it be LD3, LD2, LD1 or whatnot. If you would like, leave in the comments, I will do a video on the certification for smoke alarms because it's a different one. Because you need, I'll need to do a minor works for this as well. Minor works certificate because we put added to the circuit, the lighting circuit upstairs, and also a smoke alarm certificate. So make sure you get those if you're a landlord or a landlady. Well, that's that for this video. I'm going to leave it there. Just wanted to show you all that. And I'll catch you on the next one. So if you haven't already, boot that like button, subscribe comment share with your friends call me an asshole i don't care just get anything in the comments helps the channel grow gets us noticed and i'll see you on the next one so take care stay safe ta-da